Hello. And I'm live. Mr. Barker was so small. See if anybody comes in and join me right quick. Make sure my mic's working this time. Okay. Mic's working now. <laughs> Yo, and it looks like I'm live. What up, what up, what up, what up, good people? Yo, it's the God. Two-time ATL's hottest DJ, DJ Agony in the building. And uh, I did want to stick my head in just to shout y'all out right quick, man. Um, rather than cancel again, Nelly the Truth um, got held up out of town. Bad connection or whatever. She wasn't able to jump in with us tonight. So rather than cancel again, I just said, you know what? You know, I'll... I'll come in here and be dope for a little while by myself. I'm not going to stay long, uh, hold y'all for the whole hour or nothing like that. But they just want to come in and just, you know, say what's up. Show face. Uh, you know, go through um, my thoughts on some things that happened through this week. Because this week has been, been like every other week in 2021. And picking up where 2020 left off, it feel like. Uh we just lost three rappers in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out an RIP to uh, DMX, Black Rob. And then last night we lost um, Shock G from Digital Underground. So, um, I mean, it's it's crazy out here, man. It's like, you know, uh, rapper or no rapper, though. The folks around you, man, you love them. Make sure you tell them that daily because, like I said, folks is dropping off and we don't, um, we don't know when it's gonna happen. Date, time, or hour, none of that. So, you know, that's how um that's how I see that little bit right there. Uh earlier this week, um Derek Chauvin, the uh officer who was responsible for killing um George Floyd, one of them anyway, was convicted. He was convicted of second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Um while it is um how you say a good day to, to see that um justice prevailing in a sense uh what i tell my folks man let's not get excited yet sentencing ain't happened and until he's properly sentenced then we can get excited let's start celebrating then let's let's not celebrate too early y'all because anything can happen at this point with the appeals process and the whole nine. So that's all I say. Let's just let's let's wait till uh, something a little more concrete comes through that tells us that, you know, OK, he's going to get X amount of years and he ain't going to see daylight no time soon. Then we could truly be like, OK, you know what? Now it's time to celebrate. Now it's time to break out the grills. But maybe even not then, because at that point, this is just one time to where how many other times where justice didn't prevail in our favor? You just had to just shrug. So, uh, yeah, while I am glad they did bang the gavel in the right direction this time, it's not more or less justice, but just fairness. Like, we finally got one where they were fair. And even then, we don't know how they're going to sentence. We don't know if they're going to sentence fair or not. So, I don't know. Uh, let's be mindful of that because, you know, it's, it's still the American justice system. That pendulum could swing any way at any time. And, you know, this isn't a place where it's, it's uh, how you say, commonly swung in our favor. Commonly swings the other way. And that's just how it is. Um, ironically enough, what happened in that, while that was going on, though, um, the young lady, the young lady got killed in, um, and what was that, Columbus, Ohio? Um, that was that was a lot to digest um, with it happening, how it happened. But before, I mean, yeah, the police was dead wrong, but the police are dead wrong. So I'm not too surprised about that. I really feel like the the adults who were around, who were just holding camera phones. I feel like they're to blame. Um, rather than trying to make the next world star moment, why weren't y'all diffusing the situation, de-escalating the situation, breaking this fight up before it turned into a whole... Anybody watch Boondocks? Anybody that's watching this ever watch Boondocks? Season one, 
I want to say it was like episode three, the first episode with Stink Mina was on that, and Huey gave you the definition of what we call a nigga moment. Now, he also told you at the end of nigga moments, it usually ends with police and violence. If you go back and watch the episode, you'll see what I mean. So, while y'all were out there gassing up a nigga moment with your, with your camera phones, trying to make the next world star moment, somebody got killed. I get it. We probably should be mad at the police. Which, you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying they get a free pass on this. No, 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 no. I'm not saying they get a free pass on this at all. What I'm saying is the accountability has to start with us. All those adults out there, why didn't anybody jump in and stop it? Nobody broke it up. Nobody, nobody tried to de-escalate. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I used to work security a little bit. It's hard to interfere when I'm staring there. You see what I'm saying? My hands my hands and my attention are diverted right now. I can't do anything plausible like that. So, accountability is everything. But I feel like the adults who were out there need to take some of that accountability as well. Because that was, that, that was senseless. It had been senseless, and then calling the police just turned a senseless situation tragic. And now another person's dead. Um, it's a it's a lot. It's a lot to unpack. It's a lot to digest. But it, this is the America we live in. Like at this point, why even act surprised? Why be shocked? Um, on to some good news though. On to some good news. Let's let's get off of that for a second. Let's get on to something positive. Uh, tonight, 9.30, once I log out of here, 1180 Sigmund Road in Conyers, uh, San Francisco Surfer Turf, DJ Agony will be in the building. It's Grown and Sexy Friday, so come through, kick it. They got drink specials. They got hookah specials. Um, come through, have some fun with your boy, have a drink with me. Uh, let's kick good shit, man. Yo, let's, let's, you know, just hang out and be dope, man, and celebrate life, man, because that's all I'm really on right now. Um, and that's on the cool. Like, I don't, I don't really want to get caught up into everything else that's going on right now. No, no, no. I want to carve out my own niche. I mean, if you know what dope means, dope means driven on positive energy. That's all I'm on at this point. Stay positive. Stay dope. Have a good time. Treat your people right. Treat yourself right. Eat right. And don't drink so much, y'all. Drink some, drink plenty of water, too, y'all. Drink some water. Um, I know we out there partying. Y'all go see me out there with the, with the thing turned upside down. But in the meantime, drink some water, too. <laughs> and that's on the cool, man. Yo, for, I see my people's checking in, man. Yo, I appreciate everybody that's checking in, everybody that's sharing, that's commenting throughout the show or whatever. Yo, please appreciate that. Um, like I said, Nelly the Truth got caught up out of town and um she's out there doing her thing or whatever, you know. Shot big shouts out to her. Uh, because you know, there would be no dope without my other half. It'd be like do or pee. <laughs> but anyway, uh so definitely if you're not doing anything tonight and you are on the east side, or if you're not on the east side, here y'all travel, y'all go every damn well. Come out to San Francisco Surf and Turf, 1180 Sigmund Road. And come have fun with DJ Agony, man. Let's kick good shit. And then y'all see why I got two of them awards that say, uh, what does it say? Hold up. Yeah, I keep it within arm reach, by the way. Yeah, hottest male club event DJ. Yeah. Yeah, I keep it close. You know, just be lucky it's not on my other pillow like it used to be. Um, but I got tired of rolling over and kept getting cuts and, and stuff on my forehead. So, yeah, nah, we're going to do that no more. Um, but, oh, by the way, ATL's hottest nomination season has begun. So, if you know anybody or know a DJ or know a host or show, an online show that you want to nominate for, ATL's hottest online show and or ATL's hottest host, or ATL's hottest online show host, or ATL's hottest DJ for a third time, then, yo, ATL's hottest.com and go on there and nominate, man. Like, it's that time of the year. So they taking the nominations now, and by the end of the summer, ballots be out, and, yo, it's, it's going to be that time of the year. So 
like I said, if you know anybody who would fit any of those criteria, I say reach out to ATS Hottest and let them know what you think. That's all I'm saying. Let them know because they might not know. Let them know. Uh, big shouts out to Brian K. Marshall and, and that whole event. I think this is like what number thirteen or something. Like ATS Hottest is really moving, and um, you know, like really get on that. Truly, really and truly get on that because it's. It's a beautiful thing, man. Um, what else did I have for y'all? Uh, do, 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 do. um, oh, today, today, to now, tonight is the last opportunity to order dope shirts. People, order you some shirt. Oh, order a dope shirt. Go ahead, and get you one. So, cause y'all see me out, y'all see Nelly the Truth out. She's wearing hers. I'm wearing mine. Don't be the one talking to me. I want one of them shirts. Like, look, just order you one. We give you the opportunity to get one right now. Right now. Like, seriously. Right now. Get you one. So, look. Hit me in the inbox. Uh, cash at me. It's $15 for 3X and under. 18 for uh anything over 3X. So, I mean, it's, it's that easy. Just just hit me. Just hit me. Hit me, hit me via inbox. Um... Like I said, uh, any of my inboxes, whether it's Dope Enterprise, Dope Die Enterprise, um, uh, Bobby Lord Infinite Stevens on um, Facebook, uh, Lord Infinite underscore DJ Agony, Dope Die Enterprise on Instagram. Like, I have a lot of these, so I'm not hard to find. If you know me in real life, send me a text message, email. <laughs> you can email me at DJ Agony 21 at Hotmail. Or what have you and yo just reach out um you got to the end of the night i'll be taking orders up until 12 o'clock so if i don't have your order in by 12 then it's a dud but hopefully this won't be the last time hopefully for y'all's sake so definitely get in here and um and no sarge we do not have layaway my guy but uh you know what let like good military money tell um sam to, um hook you up with a dope shirt man but um shout out to Nelly the Truth in the building. What's up, Shout? Um oh yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my other half, y'all. So nah, this this right here was just a drop in just to let y'all know, yo, we here, we good. Um can't call keep calling our work too many times though, because they'll mess around and get fired and people start trying to find something else doing their Friday nights like no 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 no. You come here. You come here, you sit with us and be dope. <laughs> yeah, man. So as well, we are with it this week, man. And um, like I said, we'll we'll have more of next week. Um, like I said, this is just me dropping in just to holler at y'all, let y'all know that, yo, you know, um, we out chill, we here. And tonight we're finna be up through there because I promise you this DJ Agnes on the wheels and they let they told me it was an old school thing and they told me they was gonna let me go and I was like, oh boy. Old school? Okay. Let's see what y'all don't understand is even though I'm 37, I should have been born probably in 37. <laughs> For real, man. I'm like a closet old head, man. I'm like a closet over here. So, you know, they tell me old school and I don't have to play anybody whose name starts with young or Lil. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, if y'all ain't doing nothing, definitely come out. 1180 Sigma Road. It's I N Kanye's on Sigma Road, San Francisco Surfing Turf. Yo, DJ Agony will be in the building doing that thing I do. And, um, yo, I'd love to see y'all there. Like I said, uh, so anybody, um, anybody who is not, definitely go follow us on all the social sites, Dope Enterprise on Facebook, Dope Diet Enterprise on Instagram. Oh, oh, another thing too. Shout out to Boris Brown. The event Tuesday, the uh the 420 event was a success. Um, rather than it being a, a you know, a, a let's celebrate smoking out or whatever. Um no, rather than rather than being a typical 420 event, he really wanted to focus on mental health awareness within our community because honestly, that's something we as a community we we sweep under the rug, we pretend like it didn't happen, we don't talk about it. 
if anybody asks, just go pray about it. It's more to it than that. And it's our people, our people that look just like us are out here suffering in silence because of a stigma that we have on mental health. So I tell anybody, yo, if you're feeling, if you're feeling sadness a little more than just being sad, go see somebody professionally, man. That's what they're there for. Go see them. And cause I'd rather I'd rather you go go see a counselor than hearing about you doing something to yourself or somebody around you. So shout out to Bars Brown on that. And um the performances were dope. Um shout out to my co-host Nelly the Truth for coming through like how she does. You know what I'm saying? She don't leave me out here by myself too long. I guess just this weekend. So yeah, if I'm out here running wise because my supervision left me. <laughs> So, you know, um, but yeah, it was a big success this week. And um, do, 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 what else we got coming up? Um, oh, if anybody who has not seen it, Mortal Kombat released today on HBO Max. I've seen it. Uh, but if you want to know how I feel, because I don't want to spill it on here. Uh, if you want to know how I feel about it, you just got to call me because I don't want to spill it on here. I don't want to tell too much. And it's some of our dope viewers who ain't seen it yet. It's like, nah. I seen it. I couldn't wait. I'm beyond. I'm gonna tell y'all what I did. If you follow me on social sites, you'll see what I did. So, I was on HBO Max at. Uh, hey, shout out to Christy Price. What up, though? LF. What up, Christian Hollins, my boy? What's good with you? Um, but yeah, if you follow me on social sites, y'all will see what I did. I was up at about two o'clock, and I checked HBO Max, and I was waiting. Yep. I was going to wait it out because I figured like, okay, it should be on here by now. It wasn't on there because they had to let West West Coast time catch up. So at 3 a.m. here, which would have been midnight there, officially Friday there, they dropped it at 3 a.m. I think I watched it at 4. I watched it again this morning. I think I've seen it about two, two and a half, maybe close to three times already. Just to make sure I didn't miss stuff. It was interesting. It was, it was interesting, yo. You know, and – Anybody who knows me know that Mortal Kombat is still my favorite fighting game. Yeah, you know, shout out to Street Fighters, your Tekkens, and 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 all those, your Virtual Fighters, your Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, Smash Brothers is not a fighting game, so no, you don't get mentioned. Um, but yeah, Mortal Kombat is my favorite. So, I don't know. I felt like they did owe us because in 90... Doo -doo -doo, who could tell me when Annihilation came out? Annihilation was what, like 96? 96, 97. Um, yeah, Annihilation was very bad. Anybody who's seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation knows what I mean. It was very bad. The best thing they had going was the soundtrack that was really a leftover from the first one that came out in 95. Um, so they owed me from that. So do I feel like they paid me back? Uh, they paid me back. They just didn't give me the interest and the back pay. I'll put it like that. No interest, no back pay. They just kind of just gave me what they owed almost 30 years later. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, so, definitely, all my uh, folks out there with HBO Max, go check that out. Like I said, Mortal Kombat dropped today. And um, we'll see what else they got up their sleeve right now. Um, in the meantime, like I said, uh, next week, next week, y'all tune in. Next week at 8 o'clock, we'll, we'll be back with... Um, Nelly the Truth will have um, her her segment on um, powerful and impactful women. I'll be back with I can't make this shit up because I, I you know the, the stuff that I see people I just can't make this stuff up. I have to be camera phone ready a lot of times. So we'll be back with with all that next week. <laughs> Sarge, you wish. <laughs> Sarge know what it is. He know I still I, I got custom controllers over here waiting on that boy he don't want to see it <laughs> but um yeah if, and and for all my dope fans out there if y'all not doing nothing definitely 1180 sigmund road i'm gonna keep plugging this address to it's gonna jam in your head and y'all gonna come out and be like yo man hey i'm going to party with dj agony tonight and i'm gonna be like well come on through Hey, and uh, so definitely, man, yo, y'all come out, party, kick it with me, have a good time on kind of grown and sexy vibe, you know what I'm saying? And um, let's have some fun with it tonight, man. We've had enough tragedy through this week. Uh, let's have something to celebrate. Let's celebrate life together. Let's drink together. 
responsibly because I'm, I'm on medias. Let's drink responsibly together. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's all I got for this week, y'all. Yo, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a little while, just stopping by. Uh, like I said, shout out to my co-host Nelly the Truth. She will be back in the building next week. She was uh, she was on um field duty this week. She was out doing road road work and whatnot. So uh, you know, definitely big shouts out to her. Like I said, she's the other half of this this dope um situation or whatever. And um, yo, anybody who still wants a dope shirt, hit my line. You got three hours and 12 minutes. Hit my line. Otherwise, the books are closed. And I'm calling 17 Print Shop. And we're going to get that done. Oh, big shouts out to 17 Print Shop. My boy, Jason Brown, bold A300 last night. Perfect game. I've never done it. I can only imagine how hard it is. But basically, it's what, what? And somebody who's a bold enthusiast, correct me on this. Isn't it like 11 consecutive strikes? Like starting from frame one to the 11th frame, all strikes? Not spares, no no pickups, nothing that. Just strikes, straight down the thing. 11 in a row. And um, I think that's I think it's 11, but, you know, like I said, if I got any bold enthusiasts out here, please correct me. But, yeah, he got that. That happened. He did that. Big shouts out to Jason Brown, 17 print shop, man. And, yo. Y'all want one of these dope shirts from 17 Print Shop. Definitely holler at me between now and 12 o'clock. So now you are down to three hours and 11 minutes. So hurry up. Holler at me on that. Until then, 930 San Francisco Surf and Turf, 1180 Sigma Road. Come hang out with your boy DJ Agony. Have a drink with me. Let's kick good shit. Let's listen to some old school. Let's play. Let's let listen to them songs and, and be on some Remember When and uh, talk about that time we trying to holler at that girl that one time and she won't either one of our glasses. That, that stuff like that happened. I was there. It happened to me. <laughs> anyway, people, um, stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Because in time, in the times that we're living in now, at times that's all we got. It's just positivity, positivity, and encourage each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna end y'all with my favorite quote that I always like to end on: uh, "Imitation is a serious form of flattery that mediocrity could pay to greatness." That with being said, it's to God. Peace. I for real, I'll turn it off. <laughs>
Let him buy it. All right. Oh, okay. The part is hit this button. That's got to do something somewhere. Nope. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 